I've got gadgets and gizmos a plan. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am filming from my office, which I am well aware you guys haven't seen yet, but as I have been focusing so much on getting my room ready, my office isn't ready for you guys to see. I'm hoping I can bring you guys a vlog where I clean it and unpack all the boxes that are currently in it. But for now, I can only show you these three bookshelves as they are almost ready. I haven't sorted out the bottom shelf of this middle bookcase, but that is because I can't find the box of the plushes that are going there. So <laughs> hopefully by the time I do another Harry Potter video, I will have that bottom shelf sorted, but I am sort of blocking it rather well. So today I am taking part in the September Gadgets and Gizmos A Plenty collaboration, which was started by Mary and Tony at the Siskateers. I will leave their link in the description and the links of every single great YouTube channel taking part. So if you can't already tell by my Harry Potter backdrop and my Free the House Elves t-shirt from Primark, I am going to be doing a Harry Potter video. And the reason I am doing Harry Potter this month is because September the 1st is why widely known as Back to Hogwarts Day, as that is the day that you enrol at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. So I thought September was a really good time to show you the teachers of Hogwarts. I want to show you guys my Harry Potter Funko Pop collection, but I do have way too many to put into one video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the teachers of Hogwarts today, and then I also need to show you the Voldemort and Death Eaters, I need to show you the students and I don't really know where to put the Marauders and Dobby so I think they will go in this one with the teachers. So this will probably be the longest or maybe the students video will be the longest and then I do need to show you the Fantastic Beasts section as well. And I will try and give you more pop vinyl videos maybe once a month. I'm not sure when I will start doing that but if you make sure you subscribe and have the notification bell turned on then you will always know when there is a new video from me and the notification will tell you what it is. So if you only want to watch Harry Potter content then look out for a Harry Potter video. So the pop vinyls I'm going to be showing you today are from the top corner so please just give me one moment while I take them all off. So I'm now trying to hide that side that doesn't have any pop vinyls on it now. So I've got them all in order right in front of me. I am going to start a counter because once I've finished these videos these are the only pop vinyls I'm going to collect. In my last Harry Potter video I did discuss the fact that I was going to stop collecting Harry Potter pop vinyls. I'm going to focus purely on Disney now and I do feel I've got enough of the pop finals that I won't be upset for not collecting anymore. So I'm going to start with the head teacher of Hogwarts. We actually have two because I'm not sure whether everybody knows this but the actor that originally played Albus Dumbledore did die so they had to replace him for the later films. So the first actor that played Dumbledore is portrayed in this pop vinyl. I think it's really nice that they did both Dumbledore as it's a nice touch because obviously they didn't just replace him. He did sadly pass away so there was nothing that they could do so I really really love this Dumbledore pop and then of course I have another Dumbledore pop they have released others for example they have released one where Dumbledore is holding Harry as a baby from the very first scene of the first Harry Potter film which I really really love but I have stopped collecting them now unfortunately so this is the later Dumbledore the one that we know better I really really love this one he is holding the elder wand which of course he owned and I just really really love his outfit so these are the two Dumbledores side by side and I think they've been done well enough that you can tell who is who. And then the next one I'm going to show you is the groundskeeper of Hogwarts. He did want to be a teacher and I believe he was a teacher in the third Harry Potter film and book. Unfortunately he did break during the move but I'm hoping I can fix him and it is Rubius Hagrid. So he is one of my larger pops. His umbrella did break off. But I really, really love Hagrid. He is one of my favourite characters from the books and the films and I'm just really, really glad that they did him so well because obviously they have made sure he is bigger than other pop vinyls. So that is Rubius Hagrid and then we have got the head of Gryffindor House 
which is Minerva McGonagall. I really, really love her. She's portrayed by Maggie Smith in the films. So I just think she's wonderful. Again, her wand made it out okay in the move. It is literally just Hagrid's umbrella that got broken, unfortunately. But I really, really love her. She's got quite a stern expression on her face. And then we've got the head of Slytherin House, which is one of my favourite characters from the Harry Potter books. And that is Severus Snape. I did actually meet Alan Rickman back in 2012, and I am really, really sad that he has passed away now. But I love his character in the films, and I just think they've done this pop line really, really well. And then I haven't got the heads of Hufflepuff and Ravenclaw, I believe. Hufflepuff might be the herbology teacher and I think Ravenclaw is Professor Flitwick, but I'm not entirely sure and I don't think they do pop finals for those. So I'm going to go on to some other teachers. So this teacher was only in the second film and book, The Chamber of Secrets, but I have got Gilderoy Lockhart. I think he's been done really, really well. He wasn't one of my favourite characters because he is quite arrogant and self-absorbed, but I really, really love that they brought him out in pop final form. And then we've got Professor Trelawney. I want to say she's from the third film because her storyline is about Harry having the Grimm and it turns out the Grimm is his godfather, Sirius Black, who is my favourite Harry Potter character hands down, but I can't really remember. I don't watch The Prisoner of Azkaban because the Dementors used to really scare me when I was younger, so I'm not 100% sure if that's when she has her big storyline but I do really love this character she's portrayed by Emma Thompson I love how they've like magnified her glasses to make her eyes look even bigger and her hair's really curly which I love and she's just a great pop vinyl and then we've got Mad Eye Moody. I want to say he's from the Goblet of Fire. It's been a very long time since I last watched the films. I absolutely love his character and obviously towards the end you find out that it wasn't him for most of the film. It was David Tennant and I love David Tennant. I think he's a wonderful actor even if I only ever see him as Doctor Who now. Unfortunately he didn't actually want that to happen and that's why he quit but unfortunately I can only see him as Doctor Who. So that's Mad Eye Moody. He's got his cane and his wand and obviously he's got his glass eye. And then we've got a teacher that I really really hate and I hate her so much that she actually lives with the baddies on my shelf. She is from the Order of the Phoenix and it's Dolores Umbridge. I cannot stand this character. They have done this character so well in pop vinyl form but it's a sign of a good actor when you really really hate their character if they're supposed to be hated. So she did her role really really well. It's just I really can't stand her and I can't even stand to look at her pop vinyl so and then I have three of the four Marauders. So one of them is a teacher, so I'll start with that one. I have got Remus Lupin, who was the Defense Against the Dark Arts teacher in The Prisoner of Azkaban. I really love the scars on his face and his wand is intact, which I'm really happy about. The one that they don't do a pop final for is James Potter, Harry's father. And I think if they did bring out a Lillian James pop final, then I would probably break my rule about not buying any. But I just don't want to buy for the sake of of buying now because of how problematic that is for me personally to give royalties to someone whose views I don't agree with. So I will only get them if they bring out a character I absolutely must have but like I said I think the only character I would break my rule for is Lillian James. And then we've got Peter Pettigrew who I really hated. I don't like rats in general and I don't actually like this man as an actor. I think his name is Timothy Spall. He just always plays like really spineless characters and I don't like him. It turned out that he was Ron's rat for the first three films and I found that really really creepy that he was just living with a teenage boy pretending to be his pet but there you go, that is Peter Pettigrew. And then I have two pop vinyls of my favourite, which is Sirius Black. If you didn't see the video where I unboxed the second Sirius Black, I will leave a card up above. But the first one is just regular Sirius Black portrayed by Gary Oldman. He is my favourite character because I think he was very misunderstood and he's very lovely to Harry and he finally gives Harry a sense of family so he is my favourite. And then going back to the misunderstood I have also got Sirius Black in his Prisoner of Azkaban outfit which was a chase pop 
I don't still have the box because I don't keep any of my Harry Potter pops in the box but this is my only Chase pop ever I think. And then two pops that wouldn't really fit in the other videos I said I'm going to do. We've got Nearly Headless Nick the ghost at Hogwarts as portrayed by John Cleese from the Monty Python films. I think he's a really fun Funko pop. The only thing that could have made him better is if they'd made him a bobblehead. I do know that they make bobbleheads because my dad's Iron Man is a bobblehead but this one just has very very slight movement can you see that whereas I think a bobblehead would have worked more because it would have been like really wobbling and then the final one which I wore my t-shirt in honor of is Dobby so Dobby is holding a sock because Dobby has been presented with a sock Dobby is free I absolutely love Dobby I think he's such a wonderful character and I think he's most people's favorite creature in the series if it's not Bookbeak. I absolutely love Dobby and he's such a wonderful pop vinyl. I just think he's been done so so well. So I just need to put all these back on my shelf and then I will close out the video. A few moments later. So that was some of my Harry Potter Funko Pop collection. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure when you finish this video to give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below letting me know if you like Harry Potter and make sure you visit the description to visit all of the wonderful channels that have taken part in this collaboration as well as Mary and Tony's videos from the Siskateers as every month they bring out two videos so that you can see a collection of Mary's and a collection of Tony's as well. Thank you so much to the Siskateers for letting me be a part of this collaboration. I can't wait to go and watch everybody's videos because this is a great way to see other people's collections whether they are Disney or non-Disney. I usually use this opportunity to show you something non-Disney and I really hope you enjoy that. I will be bringing you the rest of my Harry Potter Funko Pop collection at some point so just make sure that you have your notifications turned on and you check my Harry Potter playlist which I will leave a card for now. Thank you so much for watching guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye!